I'm going to show you a bunch of cases, but my favorite ones have this feature right here, this little kickstand. It's so good. Today, we're going to check out these ESR chases that ESR sent over to me to do a video on. And these are all, of course, for the Samsung S23 Ultra, because that is the newest phone and that's what we're going to test them on. So I have been a fan of ESR ever since I found out about their car charger, which was really cheap and turned out to be one of the best Qi chargers available. So when I saw them at CES, I definitely had to talk with them and see what they have going on new. And these are their newest cases. All right, first up, we're going to check out the Chris Tech clear case. This is nice basic case that looks like it is just exactly what it says, crystal clear with military grade protection, military standard dash 810H. We won't go into too much detail about that, nor will I be doing a drop test on it. I'm just going to take their word for it and we'll just go ahead and take it out and see what it's like. Now. All right. Oh, <laughs> A little bit of advertising there for ESR. Be a super user and you get an upgraded 24 month warranty, exclusive access, newly launched products for free and free product upgrades. I guess that makes me a super user. All right, so let's check this out here. It is super clear. I gotta say that is really nice and clean. Definitely very clear. It's got absolutely no fingerprints. It's got a little bit of tiny little bit. You can barely see it, but it says ESR tech made easier and my gosh, that is super clean. So I'm going to go ahead and see how easy it is to get in here. And looks like that was pretty easy. Let's see, we have a little bit of a lip over here on the top and the bottom that helps to keep the, the screen a little bit protected. I do have a cheap screen protector on my S23 Ultra right now. So looks like it is very screen protector friendly. It's got a little cutout up here. Okay. And all the holes are slotted just fine. I have the, it looks like I have the original plastic thing on here, but while well, that looks really good, if you want to show off the color of your phone, and of course this is the green one, this looks like it could be one of those that might be for you. And I gotta say, there's no prills. It is exactly what it claims to be, super clean. Now, as far as protecting the lens, there's just a teeny little bit of a fraction of a lip on here, which is good because this makes it a little bit more easier to put in and out of your, let's say your pockets, which is what a lot of people do, even though they have a big phablet. And, but it does provide a little bit of protection there, just a tiny little bit. So if we were to fall on a flat surface, looks like we're gonna be okay with, with this particular place. Boy, I do love how clean that is. All right, so that's the first one. That is the clear case. This is where people want a little bit more minimal and wants to show off the colors of your phone. If you do want to put a little bit more information on here, I like what I like to do on a clear cases too, is in case you have a business card or something, stick it down underneath here. You could probably just fit in one business card and it won't affect it too, too much. Okay, now as I'm trying to remove this, you can see it's pretty tight on there. It might be a little bit easier just to remove the plastic on here. I see that I'm getting some of the plastic getting caught on onto the case here. All right. So that's the first one. That is the Christec clear case. Trademarked. Next one, we're going to check out the protective one. Let's see. This is no, this is for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. We're going to check that one out a little bit later. Okay, next up, we're going to check out the kickstand case. This one is great if you are videos consuming social media on there. And it features same thing, cover protection. It's wireless charging ready, on-demand kickstand, military grade drop protection, just like before. And of course it has a nice kickstand. So we're gonna check that out real quick here. Again, same thing. If you need some help, scan it. You can become a super user. And oh, same crystal clear, same crystal clarity. Let me mute my phone here. Same crystal clarity that we had on, on the last one. Okay. 
and except that this one has this whole section down here, which is, oh, very nice hinge, I have to say. So the degrees, the minimum degrees you can have is like that or like that. Actually, like that, it's not even going to hold anything. So really, this was designed to really just hold it out. So check that out. I'm going to put the phone in now and we'll see that's like so there's a little bit of a protrusion here where this kickstand portion comes out but i like it because it actually gives me a little bit of grip of a surface when i'm holding the phone like this so that is somewhat of a benefit that i really didn't consider but really getting this hinge down perfect is what seems to set this apart from some other cheaper cases. This is a really nice hinge. This technology here, it's quiet, it's smooth, it has just the right amount of friction. And as you can see, this will hold up the phone just fine like that. And also like this. So right now I'm on a, I'm not on a flat surface right now, but I'm going to put this flat surface on here as you can see. It's holding it up just fine. This is the angle that we're looking at. It looks the looks to be fine. You do it like this. That's actually the perfect viewing size. Or you do it like this too, which allows you to adjust it at a different angle too. Look at that. That's pretty good. I can get fairly low on here if I'm just basically looking down on the phone. Now I probably wouldn't use this as a stand for taking a photo with the rear screen because there's only there's only few angles that you can do here unless you're shooting down below if you're doing a selfie that's fine or if you're doing a zoom call where you need to show your face i think this actually works pretty well this is a this is really a key mechanism so overall i'd say the for functionality i'd pick this one over just a crystal clear protective case this one's a little bit more minimal all right so let's take a look at the next one down on the list so this is the Here's the two of them side by side. So you can see crystal clear plus with the kickstand. Finally, we have something that is the classic kickstand case. Now, I didn't know that they had kickstand cases before. So this is obviously one of the one of the favorites that has been shown over, I don't know, over the past year, which I guess makes it an instant classic. So the kickstand case again. Same thing here, become a super user. This one's not clear. This one is has a little translucency here. So it's a little bit more matte. It looks a little bit more, I'd say, executive. Dare say, this, the transition between this and this is pretty well done. I can feel a little bit of a difference, but it's so smooth. This feels silky smooth, whereas this, Feels a little bit more like glass. This has a velvety feel to it. And I like that a lot. I don't know how well that this, something like this will wear, but it's definitely, this is the most smoothest feeling phone case so far out of this set. Now we have a pretty rigid section here that uh, may, that protects the phone. But the gate kicker in this is with the classic version is this has this built in hinge mechanism that's completely the other ones down here. This one has the same similar smooth mechanism right here that's built in. If you were just looking at it, you wouldn't know. It would just say, hey, this is just a regular camera guard. But you flip it down and suddenly you have this functionality that you just can tell existed there. I'm a fan of this. And I say that because I was at ESR booth and I saw the one for the iPhone 14 Pro, Pro Max, and I thought that was pretty awesome. So as you can see, this one looks a little bit more executive. Doesn't show smudges quite as much. I don't know how scratch resistant these are though. It says, Sam it says Samsung down here. You can see through it because it's translucent, but this is not a Samsung case. So you can see through the color. And of course, since I have a dark green, it just adds a little bit more darkness to it. See that? It almost makes it like matte black. And like that. Matte black with a little bit of that, that, I don't know what green they call that. Silverish green with the camera guard. So this is more robust. It is definitely sticking out quite a bit more. If you look at these side by side, 
It doesn't feel like it's sticking out much, maybe 1.2 millimeters. I'm just doing a guess here, but it definitely adds a little bit more protection. I want to say about two, two to three millimeters more protection for the camera. And then of course you have the built-in guard, built-in stand that allows you to do it this way and a little bit this way. This one stands a little bit more vertically when it sticks out. So this one actually has a little bit more angle to it. Yeah, this one actually has more angle to it than this one does. You can really get it deep down there. It's a little bit tighter in terms of the friction, so it's able to do that. Whereas this one is just meant to clip in and clip out. See, so it has a little bit, see that it has a little bit of that automatic self-closing mechanism hinge there. Whereas this one, you push it down all the way. And it's fairly easy to get to as long as you got fingernails. This one doesn't require any fingernails. It has this whole section here. It really doesn't require it. It's completely optional. Wow, this this, this definitely feels like a nice case. Looks like, I gotta say, I think this one is my favorite of the set. At first I thought I'd wanna show off the colors, but this one just feels really good. All right, finally, what I have here is a camera lens protector. This is by ESR. This is for the S23 Ultra. And you know what? I'm actually going to remove the phone from the cases to apply it so you get a better view for it. And then we'll go ahead and stick it back on some of these cases to see how well all this works together. Now, this feels like a more premium product than some of the cheap ones that come with the screen protectors. I'm going to take a look at this one. And okay, we really want you to become a super user and super fan, which is good. Scan to watch a quick setup video. Basically, you... Number one, carefully slide removal card in the corner of the protector. Clean off your lenses, wipe them, and then stick them on. All right, we'll go and try this out. Okay, so what we have here. Oh, we got this. Look at this. They actually have ones for this too. I might actually have to do a whole separate setup thing here for this. Wow. This is seriously more on the next level. Amber lens protectors. You got the whole wet wipe thing going on. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on here so you can see a little bit more closely. They have a nice microfiber cloth. They did not cheapen out on this setup, I will say. And the individual remove. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at this. Step one, clean lenses, wet white microfiber, then dust removal sticker. With the use of our local, okay. I guess that's just, wow. That's not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna do the wet white thing. Nice. They actually have a classic huge wet wipe for me, which is something that a lot of other places have cheapened out on. Very cool. Thank you, ESR. This definitely does feel a little bit more premium when they give you a nice big sheet like that. Okay. 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 All right. Just wipe it with that. Now wipe it with a microfiber. And then do the dust removal in case there's any dust left. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe some more dust removal. All right, and it looks like I remove this. Just stick that on there. And look at that. I did not expect something like so premium feeling before. From ESR, they really up their game. Okay, so says I do that and press down on it. Okay, so that's stuck in there. And then each lens must be firmly pressed to ensure secure application. Okay, and now remove. Oh, fully applied. It is fully applied. And that's it. 
And then the back is, if you want to remove it, they give you a little tool to remove it. That, that looks OEM. That looks like it's actually part of the lens itself. Okay, this piece. How does this work? So just take this off and... Oh, huh? this is the lining mechanism. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I line this? Oh, I had it on backwards. I was supposed to leave it on there and then just slide it on. Man. Oh, I'm not going to get that. I think I messed this part up already. Yeah. Yeah, I think I messed this part up already. Should probably read the descriptions better next time, huh? These two sets are identical? I can't even tell. I couldn't tell you. I could not say. Let's just go here. Let's go like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this right. So good luck with this. Chilling it here. Say it. It is it. All right. That's it. I have a mark. Why don't we? Okay. Now, question is, heh, will this fit in the other cases? Survey says, yes. Yes, it does. Obviously, it fits in your own case. Oh, so that's one. <laughs> Two. Yep, good. And then finally, number three. Yeah, it looks nice. That looks really nice. Uh, this ESR case, this is a shock armor kickstand case designed for the S23 series. This particular one is for the Ultra and I really like it because it is definitely very affordable and it has some features that are fairly unique to the whole S23 line. Now this is a kickstand type of case with two pieces. So you got the top piece frame and then you got the bottom piece, the two of them just hook up together real easily. And the best part that I like about this, besides that it has a very minimal look, is the kickstand kick right here. This is ultra clear, so you can see the full on color of your Galaxy device. This is something that you'll probably want if you care about the color of your phone. Some of us uh, specifically ordered a particular color that is only available uh, on Samsung. I did not because I like 
this green one. So this is very simple to install. The first piece we're going to do, it's labeled one and two. See that one and two right over here. That's one. And this is two is I put on the first part on. I'm going to remove the little plastic piece here. Put the frame around the phone. That's a nice clip sound. And then part two just involves sticking this piece in here. Now this is going to give it exceptional shock strength which is what this has been fully tested for. It claims the stand, it, the stand itself has been tested 3,000 times and it has military spec uh, shock protection as well. Plus, there is no obstruction for the wireless charging feature. Now, getting this in here is a little bit more of a challenge because it's so tight. The tolerances are really tight. So I did the left side first. No, I should do the right side first. So I move the right side in. Slide the right right side in here first, and then press down on here. Now I have a screen protector on here, but I haven't found a really good one yet. So that's what it looks like in a full-on uh, two-piece design. And as you can see, this is completely clear, and you can put on uh, on the Qi charger no problem as long as it doesn't obstruct this part. Otherwise, you're gonna you're not going to get the full-on. Uh, charging chi efficiency. But the key part with this that I love about their cases, and they have a few that have this built-in kickstand, is that you can't tell that it's there. But very easily, you can just use your fingers, fingernail, and slide that on down. And then now you have a stand so that you can use it to watch your social media. You can theoretically use this uh, for, uh, for your FaceTime calls, but I generally prefer to have the phone higher up so that you're not looking up someone's nose. And I think this is a great case. I will link down below for uh, this product and a few of the other ESR products that we're gonna look at today. Okay, so that's it. I think I think of my favorite, I actually like this one the most. This one provides the most protection for the camera. It has a lot more of the different angles that you can adjust. It has a more executive finish and look. I like this one probably the least because this is very minimal, but it does support the uh, Qi charging. Okay. This one, I think we're going to have a Qi charging problem because this is a little bit up. So you're going to have to really have a smaller Qi charging system here. But then I'd go with this one next because I do definitely like the Qi charging. And this one, if I just want the minimal, that's a tough call. It is really a tough call, but I think I like this one the most for day-to-day -day use. Okay, that's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching.